So you want to learn how to create this ghost trail effect inside of After Effects, then stick around because I'm about to break it down step by step in this tutorial. You don't need any paid plugins for this effect and it's actually pretty simple to make. And right now we're on the last week of the daily tutorials and I don't have many tutorial ideas left. So make sure to leave your tutorial ideas in the comments and let's get right into this effect. I mean this tutorial. So I'm in After Effects and I got this BAKJ music video right here. And basically what I'll do is first off set the quality to full and then I'll start masking out his hands because that's what I'll be creating a ghost trail of. So I'll actually go for both of his hands, just create a mask like this using the rotor brush tool. And I will go through the masking part in depth because it's pretty simple. But just make sure that you get a clean mask and then we'll do some cleanup afterwards. Alright, so I just finished masking out the hands and my mask actually turned out pretty nice to be honest. It looks really clean. But for those of you who don't have a good mask, I would recommend that you add on a refined soft matte or basically anyone can add this on. It just helps you save your mask a little bit. Turn down the additional edge radius to like 2 and then we just bump up the feather a little bit like 2.5 and it just makes a tiny bit of a difference. A little bit cleaner and let me just turn it down a little bit more. You'll have to tweak these settings depending on your mask. Like if you mask out a full person, I recommend that you keep these settings a little bit higher. But I have a pretty clean mask in here, so I'll duplicate this layer and remove all of the effects from the background layer. And now we can start adding on effects to this layer. So first off, we can name the top layer Roto and the bottom layer Background. And then I'll duplicate the Roto layer and name it Trail, because this will be our kind of ghost trail. And then let's add on an echo effect onto the Trail layer. And for the first frame, I'll keep the number of echoes at zero. And then I'll keyframe it, and then I'll go into... Let's do like 8 frames and let's turn it up to 8. So now we got our echoes in here but they're way too bright so we just gotta change the echo operator to composite in front. And now they're all basically the same brightness so let's turn down the decay a little bit. Like this so the ones in the back get a lower opacity. And then let's turn down the starting intensity as well. So now we got the echoes in place but it's really not giving that ghost trail vibe. So to get that, what I'll do is add on an RSMB. If you have it, it's a paid plugin, but it's really useful. So I recommend that you go and get it. Whatever ways you go and get it, it's not up to me, but I recommend that you have it. If you don't have it and don't feel like getting it, I recommend that you add on a CC Force Motion Blur. And you just bump up the Motion Blur samples to like 255. But this effect will be really heavy on your PC. So if you have a trash PC, then good luck with using this. Spoiler alert, you're gonna crash. But for the sake of my PC, I'm going to go for the RSMB. So I got the RSMB on my layer right here and I'll just move it on top of the echo. And now we'll get this kind of ghost berry look as you can see. That's really clean. And now I'll be stylizing it a little bit. So to stylize this, there are a bunch of different effects you can use. One that's really common is the Holy Matrix effect from Universe. And I see a lot of people using it on these kind of ghost trails. So right after adding it on, it looks like this. If you want to get it to look normal, you just select the disable time effects. But this default preset isn't the best one. So I recommend that you go for one that is named color because that way it won't add on any color. So if I go for this one, for example, it looks like that. So there are a bunch of different ones you can use and you can tweak the settings you're liking. I can turn down the effect scale to like 30 and you can just create a bunch of crazy looks. You can also blend it with the original to make it look a little bit better. Now we got this look in here. That's really clean. And if you want to change the color, I recommend that you go for a color balance HLS and just drag it to whatever color you want. That's a really cool effect, but I'm going to go for a basic color, so I won't add that on. But to the top layer, the roto one, I can add on a deep glow just like this. So it's kind of see through now that we change the blending mode. Now we got something really clean in here. So I'll play through and see what it looks like. So this looks really clean. If you want to add more of these kind of duplications in the background, I recommend that you go ahead and bump the number of echoes up to like 15 right here. And what you also can do is you can duplicate this and drag it back a few frames. And that way you'll have a lot more going on just like this. And for the bottom one here, I can actually drag down the decay and the starting intensity. So that looks a lot better. And now to spice this up, I'll add on a new adjustment layer. And I'll open up my new plugin VFX kit. And in here we got a bunch of different tabs. We got the favorites, road effects, shakes, transitions, grunge, hits, speed tramps, and CRT. And what I'm going to go for is a shake. So I'll open up the shakes tab. And let's see what we got in here. We got a bunch of trippy shakes up here. And down here we got some simple ones. I think I'll add on a subtle vertical shake and see what it looks like. 
if it doesn't fit i'll probably go for a triple shake i'll just turn up the zoom a little bit like this and then i'll pay it through so this is what we got right now it's a clean look but i'll add on a more triple shake and see if it looks better so i'm probably gonna go for let's go for this distort wiggle and i applied it simply with one click of course that's the point of the vfx kit and the triple shake looks like this I'm probably gonna go for the basic shake but that's basically it for this effect i'll have the bfx kit linked in the description as well so if you want to spice up your visuals or just save a lot of time while editing make sure to do yourself a favor and check it out but thank you so much for watching if you watched this far if you didn't thank you anyway but i'll see you tomorrow in the next one